Imagine a force that controls your life. This force makes you eat almost nothing every day. It makes you get up in the middle of the night to do sit-ups until you have bruises down your spine. When you look in the mirror, it makes you believe that you're overweight when really you're underweight. Worst of all, you know this force comes from your own mind but deny that you're doing anything wrong. This force is anorexia nervosa, and many people have it. Many others have had it, including my Aunt Nicole. Anorexia nervosa, or anorexia, is an eating disorder and mental illness that causes people to obsess about their weight and the food they eat. People who have anorexia may even starve themselves to remain skinny. They also might exercise more than they do anything else. Anorexia is very dangerous and can lead to death. It's hard to overcome. 20% of individuals never recover. But with the right treatment and support, people do. My Aunt Nicole was about 15 when she started becoming anorexic. It was a gradual process, so she didn't realize it was happening. She started going for more runs and became obsessed with her weight, calories, and appearance. She said, I was afraid of losing control and afraid of fats and sweets. Her meals consisted of small portions of fruits and vegetables with a little bit of protein. One thing that made her continue to lose weight was the comments she got, like, you're so little, or you're so skinny. I wanted to be that little, tiny, skinny girl, she said. Our society promotes this behavior. Think about all those skinny girls on TV or on the covers of magazines. She wanted to be like them. When her mom, my grandma, realized what was happening, she called my mom, who is a doctor. Nicole went to see a doctor who confirmed she had anorexia. Her parents took it hard and were worried for her. She was 15 and weighed 85 pounds. They immediately started seeing a counselor. That summer, she went to a patient rehab center in a hospital for 35 days. She was strict about what she would eat, which didn't help. It was hard for her. Then finally, she gave in and started eating. The doctors forced her to eat and watched her carefully to make sure she didn't vomit or exercise. When she was back to a safe weight, she was released from the hospital. Throughout the next year, she saw different therapists and nutritionists every few weeks. She ate healthy, balanced meals and stayed at a normal weight but her mind was far from being treated. She still had to get rid of that force. Her recovery was long and hard. Every once in a while, she would eat a lot of food, then go back to eating healthy, balanced meals. She was ashamed of these binges, so she went to see another therapist and eventually stopped the habit. One thing that helped was when she was in college and met her boyfriend, Jason. She had to count on him and couldn't lie to him. He was a great support. They're now happily married. Another thing that helped was when she had a baby five months ago. As she nourishes him, she can't help but think that her body made him possible. She said, I never felt womanly due to my figure, so I maybe thought it was easier to create a tiny, curveless figure. But after being a mom, I feel pretty womanly. She's now 26 and a normal, healthy weight. I've been inspired by her. I never knew how hard it was to be anorexic until I talked to her. Her treatment was long and hard. But somehow, she made it through. Through all the ups and downs, she stayed strong, and I think that's pretty amazing. Now, 
Imagine getting rid of that force and controlling yourself. You're healthy and happy. It must feel pretty good.